What's up? This is Dregs One, and this is the History of the Bay podcast. Welcome back to another episode sponsored by the good folks of Amoeba Music San Francisco. Today in the building on the boards, we got DEO, we got King Set and D'Angelo behind the video cameras. The producer, Skino, is in the cut. Shout out to the other producer, Whitney Chanel. And today, we have a real special guest. I'm honored that he's here. He is a Bay Area legend, somebody that a lot of people been asking me about, a lot of people been asking for since I started doing the History of the Bay series, and I'm honored that we could bring him here today. What's up with Young Lay, man? What's up with it? What's like, up, brother? Ain't too much with it. Uh, just happened to be here. You feel that's me? right. That's Hope right, so, man. Yeah. That's right. Thank you so much for coming through, bro. Yes, you got a crazy story, so let's let's get right into it, man. Vallejo's finest. Yeah. Were you Vallejo. were you born born and raised in Vallejo? No, actually, I was born in East Oakland. Born in East Oakland. Yeah, but I eventually uh, in the uh, late eighties. Right. Relocated to uh, North Vallejo. Okay. Yeah, okay. Man. Okay. And uh, you're from what they call Lofas. Lofas, right? Yeah. L O F A S. Yeah. 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 Um, tell us what what was it like growing up there? Well, uh, it was a, a, a lot of uh, a lot of youngsters. You feel me? Uh, uh, while uh, while and doing doing their own thing, hustling, right. you know what I'm saying? Them form form the group, you know what I'm saying? As far as uh uh ripping and running, uh collecting uh getting money together, hustling, uh-huh. getting money together. Yeah. Right. Mm-hmm. And, and who who raised you primarily? Uh moms. Moms. Mm-hmm. Okay. What 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 was she like growing up in her in her uh, household? She let me do my own thing. Yeah. Cause I, I was uh the, the the light white father of the house, uh-huh. you feel me? In Oakland, because Pops was gone, you know what I'm saying, uh, out the picture, you know what I'm saying, pretty much, you know what I'm saying, in yeah. the pen, you know what I'm saying, uh, in and out the pen, you know what I'm saying. So when we went to Vallejo, you feel me, she knew how I knew what I was doing. Right, you know what I'm saying? Yeah, right, yeah. right, right. Because I was a slight her money, you know what I'm saying, and she didn't ask, boy, uh, where you get this money at? Right, she went to right. them type of moms, you feel me? And I think that was a lot, a lot, to, a lot to do with my growth. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. She Having was, a mom like that. She was letting you do what you had right. to do. Right. Understanding, right. Yeah, you know? yeah, 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 yeah. Yeah. And so when you, where did you go to Vallejo like in your high school years? Yeah, uh, my junior high years. Junior high, okay. Where'd you go to high school? Vallejo Junior High. Okay, okay. Yeah. okay. And it's funny you said that because I, my partner, uh, uh, Lil Dank, I want to send a shout out to him. Uh, he's from the city, from Fillmore. Okay. You feel me? Uh, uh, Golden G, you know what I'm saying? Lil Dank. Uh-huh. I don't know if you, y'all familiar with it. Uh, but uh, he he walked in the class in a sh- uh, with a clipboard, and I said, uh, "Do I want to be in the ta- this talent show?" Mm-hmm. And I said, "No, nah, I want to be in the talent show because I was famous before I was famous." Right, right, right. right. You know what I'm saying? Some popular local right, popularity, exactly. Yeah. yeah, with the girls and all, uh, yeah. not right. And uh, but it, it, it went until he said, uh, "Now nah, I write your uh, song, your verse." That I said, "Now nah, I can, I can write." I can write my own verse, you feel me? Then we end up f- forming a group. Okay. You know what I'm saying? So you and Lil Dank was, a, that was right. your rapping partner. Right, exactly. Right, 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 right. Then, then we went on to win first place. Okay. You know what I'm saying? Then that's when the light bulb came on. Right, 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 right. You feel me? You know, I can be a rapper. Right, and right. I, it, when I, while everybody was on a, this Mac this, Mac that, you feel me? And I, came, I came, came on one day, I said, nah. Young lay, mm. yeah, young. Put the young in front of you, the yay, mm-hmm. the lay. You mm-hmm. feel me? Mm-hmm. So that this that went from there. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. Yeah, that's interesting because uh, you know we all know the the Mac legacy, right? Being from the Crest Side, which is another neighborhood in right. North Vallejo. Exactly. What what is like the relationship between the Crest Side and, and Lofas? Uh, we uh we are t- uh, uh we so close. We tight like right. Yeah. Okay. You know, and t- and today uh, uh, it's pretty much like we we know each other right, so right, so right. much. You know what I'm saying? That we don't never feud. You right. Know what I'm saying? Like, right. Just, it, it ain't like Oakland. You can where you can feud, feud with a person around the corner. You right. Know what I'm right. 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 You know what I'm saying? Yeah. Yeah. It, it was uh, it was uh, super. We super, super close. Yeah. Cool. And we had a cl- club called the Continental Bo- Boys Club. Uh-huh. That we you, it's all uh, rap. Okay. You feel okay. me? Yeah. So mm-hmm. around this time, like this, this is a time when like uh, a lot of lay artists are getting their start, right? Right. So you had like Forty in the Click, and right. was, were they exactly. were they around doing their thing at this yeah, time uh-huh. too? Yeah, but okay. that was on a whole other side, right? Yeah. Not saying uh, not, 
no more than that. Yeah, yeah, you feel yeah, me? yeah. But now I was, uh, uh, I grew up in the generation, the uh, the '90s era generation. Yeah, you feel me? Yeah, and uh, that's what I like to listen to. You feel me? Right, not, right. Uh, not saying nothing about uh, no, nobody. Else in particular, you feel me? Yeah. Yeah, you was just keeping it close to home. Right, exactly. Yeah. yeah. Mm-hmm. And then I, uh, other groups too around the, uh, that time too, like In Too Deep, were they were they around doing their thing as they, well? They was around, yeah. Yeah. Because mm-hmm. it seemed like when I look at like a lot of that early Vallejo rap, it's all like a very tight knit right, exactly. kind of community. Yeah. Mm-hmm. So at what point you you go from performing at talent shows, writing raps? At what point do you start like recording? And getting in the studio. Well, uh, I had a cousin, uh, Ronnie Wags, who I who I would also uh, like to get a, give a shout out to, mm-hmm. who was in the uh, romper room, Mike Dre, mm-hmm. right, crew. He was going around uh, 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 showing me off to a to a to a certain extent, right? Right. You know, what I'm saying I, 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 and I ran into Kyrie. You feel me? Okay. He heard me, and I said, he said, "Ooh, I'm gonna have a contract for you Monday." You know what I'm saying? And this, at this time, it was a Saturday. You feel me? You know what I'm saying? Uh, and uh, I was inspired by my uh, cousin that was sh- lightweight showing me off. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. yeah. Mm-hmm. So you, but this was like a demo tape? No, no. That's what, this is uh, verbally. Just word of mouth, hearing, right. hearing, you, hearing you bust one. Exactly. Before you even touched the microphone and, right. and, and started recording. Exactly. But now uh, I, uh, I wrote this this particular album, Black and Dish album, uh, in Juvenile Hall, Boys mm, Ranch. Okay. You know what I'm saying? So that's why the lyrics came so fluently. Yeah, because you, know you took saying? your time to really sit there and, and, right. and really build on that exactly, stuff. Exactly, yeah. Where do you think you got your style from, bro? Because when I hear like those early raps, it's like a real distinct voice. I don't know. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know. Uh, it's just, it's just, it's just, just like, to you, huh? I just like the uh, 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 person being from some uh, uh, accent. Yeah. You know what I'm yeah, 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 yeah. But I, ain't, I ain't got no accent. I'm, I'm from right here in the Bay. Yeah, you yeah, feel yeah, 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 for mm-hmm. sure. Yeah, yeah, I mean, definitely just got like that natural Bay Area player kind of right. swing to it, the way you were swinging your words yeah. and your style. But it's very distinct to where, like, right. when you hear one of your songs, you know it's young lay rap. Right, exactly. Yeah. Damn. Mm-hmm. So you was just just out the gate, young, yep. ready to go. Already had the yep. talent, and exactly. then. Through your cousin, right. you basically came across Kyrie, right. and he did end up coming with that record contract. Right? Wow. What so year was yeah. this? Like late ninety four. So this was uh, Mac Dre had already gotten locked up. Mm-hmm. Uh, did you know Mac Dre yeah. in those early mm-hmm. days? Yeah. Y'all had a co- cool relationship. Cool relationship. Yeah. yeah. Mm-hmm. What was he like back in those days? He he was like a uh, 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 stay in the studio mm. type uh, go get it let's let's do it type of attitude. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Yeah. And we did did one together too. Okay. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Okay. And uh, Kyrie uh, was missing mixing in his his uh, samples with my stuff. Gotcha. So a lot of cats from outside the bay. Thought I was for the crest. Right, you feel me? right, right, right. And me being so cool with it, you feel me? The crest. I didn't uh, trip. Yeah. You feel me? Yeah, 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 yeah. yeah. But I just, I just stood, stood at uh, what they thought I was for from the crest. Right. You know what I'm saying? I think a lot of people, like, a lot of people know Mac Dre for like the Thiz era and right. all that stuff, but. I mean, tell me if I'm correct. Back in those days, he was pretty much already on superstar status, right? In exactly. the Young Black Brother days, exactly. Yeah. Did you did you see um, like his star rising back in those days? You did you yeah. know it was on some big shit? I knew from uh, from uh, from here what he was saying. His energy that he was gonna be some yeah. one and one one and once yeah yeah. Mm-hmm. And then but then he got locked up. Um, yeah. In a crazy case, and that, like all that stuff going on too, that he was talking about, like the punk police and, right, and the romper exactly. room getting caught up. Were you kind of witnessing all that stuff go yeah, down too? Uh-huh, yeah, uh-huh. yeah. But I was doing my own thing. Yeah, 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 so, yeah. See, because I had a uh, family, uh, mem- family members inside the rock. Okay, yeah, you your me? cousin, right? Yeah, uh, yeah. yeah, yeah, yeah. So I was uh, like, uh, like, like hearing uh, bits and bits and pieces, right? But I was uh, uh, on, on, on my block. Right, 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 right. Yeah. So, man, so Kyrie heard you rap Mm -hmm. and got you a contract. Yep. Was it a legit contract? Like, did you, did you, did you, or did you just take it and sign it? Rush. (laughs) Yeah. Right. (laughs) Yeah. You didn't take it to a lawyer or nothing? No, no. Nah. Mm -mm. Did it come with an advance? Yeah. uh, 
advance, uh, advancement, uh, it came with advancement, but uh, now that I look back at it, you feel me? I should have got way more. He just mm-hmm. tipped you off a little something right. and said, here, sign this. Right. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah. Um, and but, at the, but then, excuse me. No, but then ahead. we went to uh, sign a, a land record deal. Right, yeah. You I want to get to that uh, right. uh, in a second because that's that's real big. I don't think people understand that. Right. Major label status. Exactly, yeah. Um, at the time, so like we said, Mac Dre was locked up. Yeah. Um, Mac Maul was on the, on, did he already drop? By yeah. the time you mm-hmm. signed, right, and uh, Ray Love had also dropped on, on Young Black Brother. It was already on deck, yeah. Yeah, mm-hmm. and did you already know Ray Love too? Yeah, uh, yeah. Uh, well, how did you end up meeting Ray Love? Was this before you met Kyrie? No, no, I, I met uh, uh, Ray Love after uh, uh, I was on the label. Got you, yeah, um, got you, yeah. got you. So uh, Kyrie just kind of put y'all together, and, right? Yeah, um, yeah, yeah. Were you thinking like, damn, I'm about to do some big shit? Cause mm-hmm. Mac Dre, Mac Mar, Ray Love, right? Like, and now here you are, right? Next mm-hmm. on deck, exactly. And I guess do- was Doobie out by then too? No, uh, Doobie uh, came on in the picture uh, later on. A little yeah. later, okay. right? Uh-huh. Okay, yeah, yeah, exactly. Yeah. What was it like working with Kyrie? Cause for those who don't know, uh, he's easily one of the greatest producers, right? He was of the Dr. Bay Dr. Area. He's, he's a Dr. Dre of the Bay. Dr. At the Dre of the Bay. Yeah. You feel me? You know what I'm saying? Uh, but uh, the energy I, uh, I got from him was a uh, juice. You know what I'm saying? Uh, all my partners, I used to come home, home uh, come back to the hood uh, with a demo, demo taste. You yeah. feel me? And like, like Ugh, you feel me? Uh, uh, we we gonna be hard. You feel me? Uh, yeah. You know what I'm saying? Uh, but now I was uh, I was blinded my own by sh- my own shine back then. You feel me? To a point where I wasn't looking uh, for the uh, uh, situations that uh, that I supposed to have been looking out for. You know what I'm saying? Like, like in terms of the business side of right, it? Right. Yeah. B- Publishing. Expect, right. Yeah. Exactly. Yeah. You didn't know nothing about none of nothing, that. Nothing. Uh, yeah. No. Because I was a street, street nigga. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Hell yeah, yeah. Yeah, yeah. 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 Mm-hmm. yeah. You just saw, all right, I'm going to get this paper. Right. Make it flip. Flip these tapes. Right. And then mm-hmm. on to the next. Exactly. Yeah, mm-hmm. yeah. In the studio with him, though, did, did y'all have like a certain process or did he just let you get in the booth and, and you well, just rock out? Well, uh, it was a situation where every time he would call me, mm-hmm. he would have a, a, a particular uh, beat for me. Okay. Or a project uh, that we, he wanted to work on, you feel me? Right. Because he knew I was a street nigga too, right? Right, you right. You feel me? Grant, Grant Hart, you feel me? You know what I'm saying? Uh, so every time he was called, he, he was like, he, he was like, man, you got to come check this out, you feel me? Just like the time uh, when Pac was uh, was uh, when Pac was at the studio. Right? Yeah, that's something I wanted to get to because that's pretty crazy. You had yeah. Tupac on your first exactly. album. Yep. Mm-hmm. Came to Vallejo, yeah. So he was just out in Vallejo, right yep. place, right time. Yep. Kyrie said, I got a record for you. And right. it happened to be your record. Yep. Were y'all in the lab together? Mm-hmm. Wow, man. Yep. What was that? What was that? That was your first time meeting him. No, it, it, uh, it was started out with uh, what was it? What was it? What was in that in, in L. A. Oh, okay. Doing a Mac Mall uh, video. Oh, uh, I think, um, I think it was uh, called uh, Ghetto. Thing. Ghetto, because Pac Ghetto directed that. Th- right. Yeah. Exactly. And I r- that was filmed in L. A. Yeah. Oh, okay. Mm-hmm. I thought that was in, in in Vallejo for some reason. Yeah, nah, it was in L.A. It was in L.A., yeah, huh? You said, uh, but now, uh, I remember uh, hearing Pac say to uh, ask uh, uh, Kyrie, when can he get some of them, them slapping beats, right? So two weeks later, prior to to, to this, you feel me, uh, Kyrie was calling me again. I was on the block, you feel me, Holly Block, you feel me. Uh, uh, so he, he said, uh, man, you got to come down. He didn't let me know who was down down there. Yeah, you feel me? And I wrote particularly, uh, specifically wrote my verse while I was uh, pushing down to the studio. Mm, a know? while on your way there. On my way. You there. wrote the verse mm-hmm. that you ended up recording, not even knowing who you was going to record exactly, it with. Exactly. Yeah. Wow. You know, I remember Pac saying, uh, "Man, let me hear something." And I only had like six to eight bars. You feel me? And I I, I shut, uh, spit what I had. You feel me? And they said, "Hoo hoo!" You feel me? Uh, they all got juice. You yeah. Feel me? And the, uh, the the record uh, label cats said, "Oh yeah, let go." You feel me? Uh, you feel me? And I uh, he he it was his, his track. You feel me? It was for Pac. Right. Post the beef for uh, Interscope. Uh huh. And, and they, then and there was Interscope people there at the time. No, no. Oh, okay. okay. It was only Pac and his brother Mo okay. Prime. Mo yeah. Prime. Yeah. yeah uh-huh. Uh huh. 
But then uh, the song it was supposed to be uh, his album on Interscope. Oh, um, but that's but me, that's, me against the world. Yeah, it might no, have been that one or no, before on his label. Oh, on his label. Oh, yeah, okay, yeah. okay, 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 okay. But this is okay. okay. a, a different uh, uh, album. Right, right, right. You feel me? But this was uh, uh, was before he had got 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 caught up on whatever uh, shit night. Bell did my fault. We went to prison you in, feel the, in, me? in yeah. New York. Yeah, 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 yeah. yeah, mm-hmm. yeah. And now I'm uh, finna uh, do uh, do uh, the original uh, song. Right, right. You feel me? Right. That it was supposed to be. Right. You feel me? Right, See, right, right. It's deep. So you y'all had to go back and, and tweak that after you had made it? And, right. Okay. Now, Kyrie uh, had a, a sample of uh, McDrea and yeah, I Gotta hook. Survive yeah, and Try yeah. to Sit Live, you feel me? Yeah. But uh, his, uh, his, uh, his, he told me himself that the song was supposed to be called America is, is Young. Mm. You feel me? Now I, I'm finna throw that back in the water. Mm. You feel me? And yeah. I wonder, on my next uh, uh, LP. Yeah, 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 yeah. yeah. Mm-hmm. yeah. Were, you, were you nervous at all? Because um, at the time, like, that's like the biggest rapper in the I world, know. pretty exactly. much. Exactly. But you, yeah. you you had that confidence, huh? Exactly. Yes, sir. Yeah, yeah. for sure. Yeah. You kind of have to have those that confidence when you're in a situation like that. Right. You got to, like, when you're a rap cat and you're with another established rap cat, you got to be able to look them eye to eye. Right. Because otherwise, it's not it's not really going to work out. Like, For it's really? cool to be a little nervous, it's but, like, yeah. you, I mean, it sounds like just you already knew you were that dude. Right. And you can hear it on the record, too. Right. Like, you, you definitely held your own. Yeah. And Ray, was Ray Love there, too? Because he's on yeah. that song mm-hmm. as well, yeah. right? Mm-hmm. Yeah. Man, Me, Mac, Mac, me, me Mac Maul, and Ray Love. And Mac Maul, too. Yeah, yeah, right. yeah, yeah, uh, yeah, 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 yeah. Did you ever uh, have any interactions with Pac after that, or he he went to prison and? No, no, I never uh, uh, kicked it with him. Uh, yeah. Uh, other than that, that that day, you know what I'm saying? Yeah. Yeah, man. Well, yeah. salute, bro. That's a yeah. classic record, bro. Yeah. Classic experience. Yeah, for sure. And I'm for glad sure. you're here to tell that story. Yeah. Was this was this? Has you already done uh, all about my Fetty? By the time you recorded that. Yeah. 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 So what was what was the process of making that joint? Well, uh, once again, uh, Kyrie uh, had called me and said, uh, man, uh, you got, got, got to come to, uh, hit, listen to this beat. Yeah. Right? And I pushed down there to the studio, and I, I went, uh, went in love and heard that it was a super slap. Yeah. Right? And right then, I got uh, I got juice. You mm. feel me? You know what I'm saying? Yeah, I bet. Yeah. So you, did you know off top that that was the one? Mm-hmm. And they, they Kyrie, everybody was like, all right, here, we got your single. Was that kind of the way it was working? No, no. Nah. It was. It was like we we was already building up songs. Yeah, you feel me for the uh, Black and Dangerous album. Uh-huh. You feel me? And that was just one of the. That was uh, just one that, that you knocked out. Right. Yeah. Exactly. Yeah. Um, Another one of them ones. Yeah. So how did that end up on? Because it got re- released as a single though. Well, uh, Spike Lee dig on this. Spike Lee had uh, called somebody over here in the Bay. Mm-hmm. You feel me? And I uh, said he he wanted that song because he was, Spike Lee was directing a movie called New Jersey Drive. Mm-hmm. You feel me? When I heard that, I said, "Oh, for sure." You know what I'm saying? So that song, but that song was already out at the time. No, no, he he, he just heard it on on yeah. like some demo or right. some dub. Someone exactly. had a dub, yeah. and it got all the way to Spike Lee. Yeah, New Jersey. <laughs> That's a Imagine tweet. Imagine that. Yeah. Yeah. I don't think people understand how like powerful like tapes was back in the I day. No. A cat because it was something that you could just record yourself. Yeah. Go get some blank cassette tapes. Yeah. Mixtapes, whatever you want to do with pa- and they got passed around and dubbed again and again right, and again. Exactly. Yeah. So that's how you <laughs> that, that's so that from there, from just somebody, you don't even know who it was, probably who gave them the tape. I don't. Damn. I don't. So he it just got to Spike Lee. He yeah. said, "Boom, this I is the joint. That, I want, I want that, song. that song." Right. Yeah. Wow. Shout out to Spike mm-hmm. Lee, man. Yeah. Shout out to Spike Lee. Wow. Off top, yeah. So, uh, did 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 that? What what uh, label did the soundtrack to New Jersey Drive come out on? Tommy, Tommy Boys. Tommy Boy. So you did like a separate deal with them mm-hmm. just for the just to appear on the soundtrack. Yep. Was that a nice check? That was a nice check. Yeah. yeah. 
Yeah, he was like, I'm in the game now. I'm in the game. This shit man. just got real. Yeah. This shit just got nationwide. Exactly, yeah. And that soundtrack did really well, too, right? right? Exactly. They sold a lot of copies. Yeah. Mm-hmm. People don't, that's another thing people don't trip off is soundtracks. Yeah. was actually big. Like, people would buy the actual soundtrack besides mm-hmm. the movie. Exactly. Who else was on there? Total. Mm-hmm. And Queen uh, Ativa, Queen Ativa, uh, but I forgot uh, uh, the other artists that, right. was on, that was on there. But dig, dig on this, out of ten, right? Top ten, top ten. I came in, came in second place. Mm. Total, total was uh, in first place. You feel me? And I, I got a, a gold album. You feel me? Got that plaque. Right. Yeah. Exactly. Yeah. That I gave to my mom, uh, to my mother. Yeah. Wow. That must when have felt I, really good. Yeah. When I when I first got it, you feel me? Yeah. I said, Here, mama. Just to, uh, just to, uh, just to, just just to do it, you know what I'm saying? I mean, that's a trip because that connects to what I asked you about earlier about growing up in her household. Right. It's kind of like now she gets to see the result of letting you go out there, right. do your thing, and exactly. look what you accomplish. Yeah. That's big, bro. Yeah. Red man and Alchemist. Oh, Red oh, Man. Yeah. Al- yeah. Good yeah. looking. Yeah. Yeah. Keith yeah. Murray. Show Keith Murray. Uh, yeah. Coolio. Coolio. Yeah. Rest in peace, yeah. Coolio. Yeah. Wow. Maybe Send a know. shot to all them. Yeah. Said for what? real. Big was on there? Ooh. Yeah, it was Can't You See. Oh, yeah. oh, oh so it was Total and Biggie. Yeah. Okay. Wow. Okay. So yeah. basically, just like that, you're on a nationwide level with yeah. the biggest names in yeah. rap. Um, Damn, bro. That must have felt crazy. Crazy. Wow, yeah. Mm-hmm. Is that what is being on that sound? And that's another thing is like, that's a trip because it's an East Coast movie. Right. And yeah. that song is like, it's so Bay Area it out. Like, right, exactly, yeah. That, that's a trip that it, it, it resonated with that audience. Yeah, exactly. And it's a dope movie, too. Yeah. I like that movie For a lot. Sure, me too, yeah. Um, so is that attention, um, did that attract a bunch of major labels? Or was Atlantic, like, is that how Atlantic came into the picture? Well, uh, Atlantic Records was uh, locked in. Oh, this was already locked in. So how did that happen? Just off the strength of well, what what well, y'all was uh, cooking up? Well, uh, Kyrie has uh, did did a uh, did a uh, negotiation with him. You feel me? And then uh, Spike Lee. Uh, oh, you know what I'm saying? Yeah. Okay, okay. So, so they locked me in. You know okay. what I'm saying? Oh, they so they saw. Oh, like, oh, he about yeah. to be on the soundtrack. All right, lock him in. Right. They knew it was about to get bigger. Right. And that was that for all of Young Black Brother, uh, or was it just um, for you, for for your album? For, for the whole label. So it was like yeah. a, a distribution type of right. deal. Right, exactly, yeah. Man, that's big. Yeah. Um. So then, uh, how did you how did you come up with the, the name Black and Dangerous for well, your album? Uh, well, uh, well, I was uh, walking through the turf one day, and I said, wait a minute. Black and Dangerous, the label, and Robert Leach. Uh, lifestyles of the rich and famous. Exactly. And, that, and that's what I'm thinking out about putting, uh, putting uh, throwing back in the water. Uh-huh. Lifestyles of the Black and Dangerous. Uh-huh. You feel uh-huh. me? Yeah. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Yeah. Because yeah. um, I think throughout that album is like, it's definitely a lot of like, like it's definitely some heavy street shit on there. There's some player shit on there. Right. But I think it's... I don't know, it just kind of reminds me of like, it's also like the Young Black Brother album itself. Right. Like that message of what it was like to be, you know, young and black in those right. crazy times. Exactly. I definitely hear that yeah. on the album. Right. So, so did, so all about my fit. And then you shot the video too, right? Yeah. Mm-hmm. Uh, how was that, man? Because uh, video, people don't understand how yeah. it was a big deal to have a video back yeah. then. Yeah. Well, uh, well, I brought bring my whole block, you feel me? Uh, uh, and then I remember Kyrie said, man, you just like Mac Dre. <laughs> Try to bring all this partners. <laughs> and then I said, for real? <laughs> you feel me? And then the, the, the Marlon Ray, you know what I'm saying, uh, just did, did their thing, you feel me, by themselves, you feel me? Right, you know saying? yeah. yeah uh-huh. But I, I had I had my uh, dogs there, you feel yeah. me? Mm-hmm. And y'all, you shot a couple videos right, off uh-huh. that album. Yeah, mm-hmm. How expensive was that back in those uh, days? I, I don't know. Uh, I, was, I wasn't keeping up with, with the money. Thing, you feel me? That's where uh, uh was easier to uh, get uh get influenced uh not influenced uh, on me uh, but uh, that's uh that's why uh, it was easy that's why it was easier to, to uh, manipulate. 
Yeah. You feel me? You know what I'm saying? Because I wasn't You're even, not seeing what's going on behind right, closed exactly, doors. Exactly, yeah. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Because I was a street. Yeah. You feel me? You yeah, feel yeah, me? Yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Man, y'all had to do that. Yeah. You feel me? You know what I'm saying? I had that in me. Yeah. You feel me? Yeah. And mm-hmm. you was young. How old were you? 17, man. 17, 17 doing all that shit? 17 through 19. Damn, man. For real. That's yeah. a crazy way to grow yeah, up. Exactly, yeah. That's a crazy way to become an yeah. adult right there. Yeah. Fast. Exactly. Wow. So, did did um, All About My Fetty ever get released as a single? Or it was just... Yeah. A, yeah. To, okay. to, to Tommy Boys. Oh, so they put it out as the single for the soundtrack. Right. Then it was also on my album. Yeah, 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 yeah. yeah, yeah. Mm-hmm. So, it was all on, on vinyl and tape right. everything. All, all that. Yeah. yeah. Mm-hmm. And, it's so, and it... It went. Did the single go gold too? The single went gold. The single went the gold. Single, single went gold. Yeah, man. That's what's, yeah. Billboard charting. Yeah, exactly. In the game, but at the same time, now I'm feeling. Now that I'm a young grown man, right? Yeah. Now I'm feeling that it's way too much money when got the uh, the wrong hands. Well, you yeah, I think you know? that, that that probably starts to click. Like, yeah. all right, bro, I just sold half a million units. Uh, that little joint you just you just wrote for me, like that little yeah. check at the beginning, that don't make as much sense anymore. Yeah, but I understand that you know, saying the spilt milk, you spilt milk, spilt milk now. You feel because he was already locked. You in know what I'm saying, right, contract. right? But I, uh, but I, but at the same time, I'm struggling through the little. Uh, a few da- downfalls during 12 years yeah, getting yeah, shot yeah. in the head yeah. in a coma for uh, two yeah. weeks. I wanted you know to get saying? to that too yeah. because uh-huh. that happened before your album dropped? Getting shot? No, after. After? No, no. Excuse, excuse me. Before. Uh, before, before dropped, right? Yeah. Mm-hmm. Uh, so what happened, man? Well, uh, 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 I guess the uh, the lyrics of my, uh, uh, in my songs yeah. Uh, uh, my enemies took it uh, upon themselves to uh, feel that they, I was talking to them. Mm. Feel me? Super deep. This is people you had like run ins with yeah, in the arch past. Rivals. Oh, arch okay. rivals. Okay. You feel me? Yeah. 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 Castle of what the school with. Yeah. You feel me? And cast, uh, uh, they used to see me in my nice cars. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? With their cousin, uh, with their partner cousin in the, uh, in the car with me. Yeah. yeah you know what I'm yeah, saying? Yeah. You feel me? Yeah. You know what I'm saying? Having money, having bras, right. having success. Right. But having now, popularity. Right. But I ain't no uh, floss. Uh, thing with me now. Yeah, you know yeah, 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 yeah. You know what I'm saying? See, oh, God, you, God will teach you that. Do you, you think you me? were you were kind of playing into that a little bit? You was you was stunting on Castle Too a little cocky. bit. Too yeah. cocky. Right, exactly. Yeah. 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 And then I can imagine, especially by the time you're gold and all this right, other exactly. shit's happening, you're yeah. doing it big. Mm-hmm. Yeah. So you ended up, um, I mean, it sounded like some hater shit too. Right, just exactly. When I was, when in a nutshell, yeah. 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 Um, and you, it happened while you were sitting in your car? Or, uh, yeah, uh-huh. was it a, uh-huh. a robbery attempt, or they just? Well, uh, uh, they just bust it, it wasn't no robbery attempt, but my, my partner from the turf, right, was driving my car. Uh huh. And when I seen this cat, he pointed a, a, a gun at my partner side of uh, driver's side, right. I'm on my uh, partner's side on my car, right. Yeah. And I told him, drive off as soon as you get the chance. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So oh, he, you saw him coming. No, coming. He, he walked up on the. Uh, on the car, on my driver's side. Right, right, right. On my, uh, driver's side, on my, on my car, right? Yeah. And uh, then I tell my partner, I said, I said, strike off as soon as you get the chance, right? And then they, my partner was pleading for how, his life. Mm. Man, come on, you feel me? You're supposed we to both, hit the gas and get we, up we out of there. Yeah. We both knew him. Yeah, you feel me? He yeah, was a yeah, certified yeah. hater. Right. You feel me? Yeah. Right. So uh, we pushed off, you feel me? Uh, and then uh, I jumped my partner up and said, man, what happened today? And look what he said, man, you didn't duck. Mm. Whoa, I didn't duck. Mm. I probably just looked back. You feel me? Mm-hmm. And that's the story right there. So you don't even you don't even have a full recollection of it, of it happening. You just you got yeah. hit and then you were unconscious. Right, exactly. Blacked out. You got hit in the head. Crazy, a, man. A ricocheting blood, bullet. It ricocheted in yeah. Mm-hmm. Yeah. And you were in a coma for three days? No, two weeks. Two weeks? Yeah. Mm-hmm. God damn. I had to uh, be uh, uh, airlifted from Vallejo to Marin to a, a hospital called Kentfield. Mm-hmm. I, I, I don't know if y'all probably familiar with it. 
because it's close to uh, Fresco. Right, right. You feel me? Moran's... Moran, right, it's right yeah. over the Golden Gate right. Bridge. Kentfield. Yeah. You feel me? I woke up in the coma. I woke up in the hospital uh, uh, out of coma. You feel me? That's big. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. Damn, man. They saved your life, basically, right? Wow. And so then um, I read that you your your like motor skills, your speech was, right. was, was fucked that's, up. That's that's okay, that's why uh you might look at me and say, Dang, you feel me? What's up with that? You feel me? That's all that happened. They'll been through some shit. Right, yeah. exactly. Yeah. But now that's real but life. But now God uh God gave every man a gift here on earth. Yeah. You feel me? Yeah, yeah. You man. know what I'm saying? You know? Well, I think I mean one thing that was impressive is that you you actually pushed through and you were doing physical therapy. Right. So and that Berkeley, you could get right. back on the mic. Right, exactly. You had to basically learn how to talk all over right. again. Not just learn how to talk, learn how to rap. Right. So it's like that's a crazy setback. Yeah. But you're still not gonna give up after that. No, sir. Mm-mm. What was it? What actually, was, oh, actually, go ahead. excuse me. Actually I, I did another album after that. Mm-hmm. It's Unsolved Mystery. Right, 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 right. In right. honor to, uh, to, uh, to, uh, to my child and his yep. mother. And what, I right. want to definitely get into that, too. Yeah. Um, what what was it like doing the, the physical therapy, man? Was it challenging? Uh, no, uh, I, uh, it was a situation to a point where I needed to get back, you feel me, to show my partners, you feel me, mm. who didn't know what happened to to me, you feel me? Oh, so you were, you were driven. Right, yeah. exactly, yeah. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Yeah, you had to, because otherwise you wouldn't even been able to tell that story. Right, exactly. Yeah. Wow. Yeah. And so, how long did it take you to to bounce back to where you were able to get on the mic again? Well, I gotta say, uh, like, uh, like a uh, less than uh, less less than uh, ninety days. Damn, man, you were putting in that work. Right. Yeah. You were you like I said, you must have been really driven. Yeah. Wow, and then did you get back to, and then your album came out, right? <laughs> yeah, <laughs> that's yeah. a that's a that's sure. a hell of a bounce back right yeah. there, mm-hmm. man. Uh, how 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 was the uh, the reaction and reception and everything going on once once Black and Dangerous dropped? Well, uh, like did it pop off for you? Were you were you were you feeling like all right? Yeah, it's, it's I, on. I was doing in stores and yeah, you feel me? Uh, going to this, this place and that place. You feel interviews? Me? Yeah, and, and interviews, shows. Crazy. Shows for show off top, yeah. Mm-hmm, yeah. I don't think it's too many people, bro, that will be able to go through something like that and bounce right back and start rocking shows and pushing their album, yeah. man. So, but it felt like it, it was everything was up from there, right? Yeah, yeah. And then you that album hit Billboard as well, right? Right. And um, everything was going. Uh, Young Black Brother Records was pushing and. Um, you pr- probably, I'm sure you were feeling like, all right, I bounce back, I'm back on top, yeah. I'm ready to keep rocking. Yeah. But then, uh, man, a really tragic situation happened, bro. Um, do you want to talk about what went down with the kidnapping of your son? Actually, yeah, it's a, it's, cl- it's exclusive. Yeah. You feel me? Okay. You know what I'm okay. saying? You know what I'm saying? I, uh, I got that on the lock and key. Yeah. You feel me? Cause uh, I'm doing some other business. Yeah. You feel me? I'm but I don't want to ruin, ruin this interview. No, no, you no. See? You're not ruining. I you totally respect it, bro. Yeah. I mean, I don't want to keep it on the music. Yeah, 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 top, yeah, yeah, yeah. For yeah. sure, we'll exactly. definitely do yeah. that. Mm-hmm. But I mean, uh, I, do, I do just want to touch on just to say that for people who don't know what you went through, that your your girlfriend was was killed and your, right. your baby was kidnapped. Oh yeah, for sure. Off top, yeah. And mm-hmm. right after your album dropped, right, exactly. Yeah. Yeah. Ooh, that's a cold. That's a cold. Uh, uh, tragedy. That's right a there. lot to go through, man. Right, exactly. It's a lot like, to go what? through. Yeah, you feel me? Yeah, yeah. But I will speaking on on the book on a documentary I got coming. You feel me? You know what I'm saying? So there's definitely there's we'll get to that too. So you can definitely get people ready for that because right. um, we know that you know there's no other better way to tell your story than you telling it yourself. Right, exactly. So this will just for if you want to hear more about this, make sure you stay tapped in with right. Young Lay. Yeah, Revelations. But yeah. um, uh, one thing I do want to ask about that is like you ended up being on the show Unsolved Mysteries, right? Because of that, exactly. Um, what was that like? Well, uh, I was locked up in uh, Susanville. Oh. And uh, 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 producer, I think it was John Wash. I yeah. think, right? But the uh, the people inside the prison said uh, 
that the warden is not too is not fond on the public publicity. Yeah, you feel me? So I got transferred mm. to a closer a prison. You feel me? The, uh, uh, that I I can see my son. Yeah, you feel me? yeah. So you did that interview um, from prison, right? Wow. Yeah. And then I mean, just even getting locked up. Where I mean, I could imagine all the shit you were going through. Did that kind of push you back? Towards the streets and kind of away from music, or well, uh, for a minute I got a, got a wild and uh, 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 wild and crazy because uh, 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 I didn't know uh, uh, you feel me. I knew my uh, my girl was gone. Yeah, you feel me, gone, gone. Yeah, you know what I'm saying. And I I didn't know uh, about my son. You feel me? Uh, but I kept the faith. Yeah, while I was, all the times while I was in the prison that I was gonna see him. Mm-hmm. And guess what? He's he called me this morning. That's what's up. I, I saw him say. That's he called what's me up. This, yeah. Called me this morning. My yeah, mother. man. You nah, yeah. He, he, he acted grown than me. Yeah, 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 I, yeah. I know that. You know, uh, you know what that means. He is he feel me? You know, yeah, what I'm yeah. yeah. Mm-hmm. Um, and then so did did you get out and then do the album Unsolved Mysteries? Yeah. Oh, and then just no, no, no. Actually, I got out the uh, the uh, the. Uh, the th- physical therapy and did it uh, so, so, oh, mystery. so that was even before you got on the show that you made that album it just happened to be called Unsolved Mysteries bro yes I thought you named it after the show <laughs> that's no. wow do you think that helped attract that might have attracted the show to come interview you well uh, well uh, I, 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 I do creative things you feel me like Ugh, if I name it this you know what I'm saying it might be you know what I'm saying it, yeah. might, it might affect this particular way. You yeah, know yeah, yeah, yeah. Because yeah. mm-hmm. I'm sure at that point, man, like, even though you're rapping and you're doing other stuff, like, you, you had to be thinking, like, man, I just, I got to do whatever I can right. to, to tell tell my story. Right. If anyone's seen my son, find a, find a way to get him back. I'm sure that was, like, right. at the front of your mind. Exactly. During all those times. Yeah. But one, one thing about, or, and, and did being on that show, do you think it helped raise the awareness for mm-hmm. people? Yep. Was it a good, a good look? Yep. Yeah. Yeah. That's what's up, man. Yeah. Shout out to Unsolved Mysteries. Yeah. But I could give, give all honor and praise to God, man. Yeah, yeah. You feel me? So for keeping my, my son uh, safe. You yeah. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. Because whoever took him, you feel me, didn't want to harm him. Yeah. You feel me? Which is a scary, scariest yeah. thing on yeah. earth. You feel me? Yeah, like um, like you said, we'll we'll you, you we'll let you save that full story for yeah. you for your own. Yeah, and I got a big book coming out mm-hmm. called Revelations. You feel me? On the eighteenth uh, of October. That's you what's up. Yeah, uh, yeah, for sure. It's, it's it's all in there. It's all in there. So we'll make sure that we get all the links and everything, so we can help you promote that okay, when this episode that. drops. Okay. Um. Man, what a crazy story, bro. Yeah. And I also, uh, I, excuse me, mm-hmm. I also wanted to give a shout out to my uh, my main man, uh, DJ Gutter Butter. Yeah, shout out Gutter Butter yeah. in the building right yeah, now. Yeah, for sure. Holding he in the down. building. Yes. Off top, yes. yeah. Off top, it's good to have a good team around yeah, you, man. Yeah, for real. Um, Yeah, that uh, that story, though, like without, like I said, without giving going too much into it, it definitely seems like, once again, like hater right. and the weirdo for shit real, yep, exactly. strikes again. Yeah. And uh, a lot of the artists that I've dealt with and that I've covered and I've talked about is like the shit is real when you got haters, man. It shit yep. can really escalate exactly. and get out of control. And when people think you got something that they want, yep. th- their mind, the devil will definitely play tricks on them, bro. Exactly. And uh, it's crazy to be uh, just have to go through that. Um, yeah. But that album, Unsolved Mysteries, I noticed it did not come out on Young Black Brother Records. No. It so, came out. It came out uh, through my uncle, who's also in the romper room. Was that uh, E E B? E B. Yeah. Yeah. yeah so was, Shout out to him too. I was reading you know, that. Yeah. Today. So your uncle and your cousin is is in the rock. Right. Okay. Actually, I got two uh, two two uncles and two cousins in the romper room. Got you. That used to be that used to uh, the rock, rock with it. Got you. Got you. Yeah. Got you. But time moved on. You feel me? Yeah. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. Um, what? Why? Was that deal that you signed with Young Black Brother? Was it only for one album, or what? What happened? Why did you uh, end up leaving the label? Well, uh, I got uh, I got uh, got in a head injury. You feel me? 
But I think it, it, it was for one album. You feel me? One album deal. Oh, uh, when you say your head injury, do you think he dropped? He he was thought you were done, and he I think so. Yeah. 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 I thought I got uh, had some uh, had some uh, real official uh, official uh, people looking to uh, looking to that. Yeah. For me, you know what I'm saying? Yeah. Because there's a lot of questions, unanswered questions, you feel me, uh, behind that, you know? Yeah. That, when was the last time you talked to Kyrie? Uh, I talked to him recently. You feel me? You guys are on good terms. Yeah. Lightweight. Trying lightweight, to figure yeah. it out. Mm-hmm. Let's get to the bottom of this right, uh-huh. and get back and to it. And I also want to send a shout out to him, too. Kyrie, too. For See, sure. It, it's what I, what I have learned, bro, uh-huh. that it's not even worth it. Yeah. You feel me? When you know what cat ain't cool, yeah, you yeah, feel me? Yeah. Don't you ain't gotta even show uh, that he ain't cool. Yeah, you feel me? You know yeah. what I'm saying? Just let him do what he do. You doing. gotta be yourself. Yeah, you know what I'm saying? As long as you cool, yeah, you feel yeah, yeah, me? Yeah, mm-hmm. yeah. Exactly. Yeah, mm-hmm. yeah. Because otherwise, that's how you end up going down that dark right, path, exactly. Just back and forth. Right. And you yeah. can't. You can't. Uh, you can't deal with haters by being a hater yourself. <laughs> there you go. There you go. For real. Yeah. 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 Um, well, that's all right. So. Uh, that's unfortunate, but it sounds like it's being sorted out. Who, yeah. Who, so, did you, who who are you working with for production for Unsolved Mysteries? Uh, I'm working with my, uh, myself now. Uh, oh, you were making beats, right? Nice. No, no, no. I, I don't make beats, but uh, I'm trying to uh, uh, trying to sort out, uh, seek out the, uh, my yeah. big, my uh, beat makers now. You feel me? Yeah. But on Unsolved Mysteries, who's making those beats? Oh, my bad. Uh, it was uh, Brother uh, Lee Love and Eric Strong. Okay. Yeah. Okay. Uh, yeah. And then, uh, so that was through EB. So now you're like an independent. Right. EB had his own record label, right, too. Exactly. Right? Yeah. Did, did you have to kind of learn that game, too, of like independent hustling as well? Well, I learned it from uh, by hearing it. Yeah. You feel me? I, I I didn't ask no questions. You feel me? Which my pot, uh, was my father, man, he rest in peace. You feel me? I always used to tell me, man, ask what you don't know. You feel me? Yeah. Listen and ask. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Because I think he, uh, he looked at me, he seen me as a know-it-all. Right, right, right. And he, and he ain't never lie, you feel me? It's better to, to ask uh, opposed to being a know-it-all. Yeah, you for feel, sure. You know what I'm saying, you know? Yeah. So I'm working on that aspect, too, you know? I mean, I think the important thing to note is that you just kept it pushing. Yeah. You went through some crazy yeah, tragedies that would stop damn near anybody else. Right. And you kept pushing. Right. But then you ended up in prison, unfortunately. Right. Um, I know obviously prison is, is rough no matter yeah. what, but where I mean, after all you had been through yeah. and all the, the, the heights that you had seen, like what were your, what was your thought process during that time? Well, that's getting just, through that bit. Well, I just kept occupied and stayed to myself, you know what I'm saying? It worked out, you feel me? And kept a program. Yeah. That, you know what I'm saying? And that's always a good thing. Yeah. You yeah. know what I'm saying? Yep. Cause, uh, uh, cause Oakland Pilots, uh, and, uh, whoever uh, 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 positive, yeah. you know, what I'm saying comes uh, to you. Yeah, you know yeah, 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 yeah. Just when be you, around the right people. When you work, uh, when you do yourself. Yeah, you know what I'm saying. Huh? Yeah, yeah. So you took that time to basically just develop, and right? Exactly. Work on yeah. yourself. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Were you yeah. writing raps? Yeah. Oh, top. Yeah, yeah, mm-hmm. yeah. 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 Were, you, were there any other rappers you were locked up with? Uh, yeah. Uh, uh, it was a. Uh, 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 it was a rapper uh, uh, on uh, on so- Susanville I was locked up with. <coughs> I can't forget his name. I I can't remember his name though. You feel me? Uh, but he's from uh, uh, Oakland. Okay. Yeah. Uh-huh. Okay. Yeah. That's what's up. Yeah. And then how long did you? How much time did you do? Well, I did ten years off twelve. Mm. You feel me? Sentenced to twelve, released in ten. Right. And then what year did you um, come home? 99. 99. 1999, yeah. And did you, <coughs> was your son found during that time? That, that yeah, you, before I got out. Before you got out. Yeah. What was that like hearing that? Oh, hearing my that news? goodness. He was six years old. Yeah. And before I got the uh, chance to sit, visit him, I had to wait to be transferred mm. to Vacaville, you feel me, from uh, Susanville. Mm-hmm. Uh, that's way up past Sac, you feel me? Yeah. Susanville, you know? And, uh, they would not uh, 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 approve, you feel me, my uh, ch- uh, hardship. Wow. That's what they c- call it, right? Yeah. The key, uh, what, what you got to tap into your counselor, you feel me? Yeah, yeah. And uh, I remember 
They showed it on TV. And the Oakland cat, nothing on my cell though. Hey, 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 turn on us, uh, the channel such and such. I said, what? You feel me? And I turned uh, turn to uh, that thing. And your son and was son, on. Son, son, I have been found. Wow, man. I said, oh, yeah, praise God. You wow, feel me? Bro. You feel me? Man. Sounds like you, you definitely, like, got the rewards of, like, just staying down, staying true, yeah. staying positive, right. and, and staying on it, man. Exactly. Um, yeah. Did you, and then were you able to, was he able to come visit you? Yeah, uh, when I uh, uh, moved to uh, Vacaville. Yeah. Mm -hmm. What was it like being reunited? Oh, uh, man. I, I just picked him up, hugged him, gave him a tight brace, embrace, you feel me? Man. And said, I love you, boy. Be, be good to anybody yeah. that's taking care of you now. You feel yeah, me? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Mm -hmm. And yeah. what, um, were you able to like rebuild your relationship um, through the visits, and then eventually you got out, right. reconnected. Right. Well, I, uh, uh, I I got to see him a few times, right? But then then eventually he wilded out. He felt he wilded out because at first he got banned from Vallejo. Oh, okay. F for, due to the, what happened to him in Vallejo, they you didn't want any anything right. else they, they, they going They didn't want him, anything, yeah. him living in Vallejo. Yeah. You feel me? So he re relocated to where, where my uh, folks uh, relocated to, which is Pittsburgh Antioch. Mm -hmm. Now he wild. You feel me? Wild. And that, now I, I can't be the strict type of father. You feel me? Because I've been in their shoes too. You feel me? Yeah, I mean, it's pretty understandable after going through something like that as right. such a young child. And right. then your dad's locked down. Yeah. Your mother passed away. Um, yeah. That's a, that's a lot to overcome, too. Exactly, yeah. Um, what's it like uh, being a father now, like, after having been through that, gotten out, like, you know, going through something like that? Well, uh, uh, I use it. I use my uh, uh, positive, criti positive criticism. To uh, reflect on my positive criticism, uh, uh, what I've been doing. Yeah. And it, it makes it very uh, easy. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That's what's The things so. I've been through. Yeah. You feel me? Mm -hmm. yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah. And also, too, like, while you're while you're locked down, uh, like, your partners kept bubbling, too, right? Like, so were you, here, were you seeing, like, Mac Wall's success, Ray Love? Were you seeing that, like, while you were locked down or, or hearing about it? No, nah, I... I he was I out the way. Did. Yeah, I yeah. was out the way. You feel me? Yeah. I was focused on with myself. Yeah. 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 I wasn't tapped into the to the to the to no to to nobody uh, to a point where you feel me? Uh, I was hearing about uh, the 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 rap game. Yeah, 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 yeah. 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 Mm -hmm. it's, it's almost like you had to put that behind you for a little bit. Right. Exactly. Yeah. yeah. Mm -hmm. But I wasn't stressing. Off nothing, you know what I'm saying? Uh, yeah. To to that uh, to that uh, to that aspect, you feel me? I'm yeah. Like, Damn, I, uh, I I'm gonna miss that. I'm gonna miss this. I'm, yeah, that's what I'm thinking yeah. here. You say that because it's that's something that could drive you crazy. Like, right. Damn, exactly. I was yeah. just on. I had a gold record. Right. You know what I'm saying? I've been mean, none of that. And then my partners is over here yes. doing this. And, yeah. 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 That yeah. Makes none sense. of that. I was just eager to uh, see my release date. For sure. You feel me? You know yeah. what I'm saying? Yeah. Were you locked? Were you locked up when Mac Dre died? No, -uh, no. Nope. Okay, mm -mm. so you were out. Did you get a chance to ever reconnect with him? No, I said what's up to him. You feel me? Uh, yeah. Like, I, and like I said, uh, I, I, I was very close to him because uh, my cousins. Uh, well, he ran with my cousins. Right, right, yeah. right, 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 right. And plus, we was on the same label. Yeah. You feel me? You know what I'm saying? Uh, we was we would see each other. You feel me? Like uh, me and you. Uh, uh, Say we we uh we're we're running to each other, right? Yeah, yeah. On yeah. a letter date, right? Yeah. We agreed each other, you feel me? Yeah. yeah, you feel me? Yeah. And do uh go several ways, you feel me? Yeah, right, right, yeah. right, right. Mm -hmm. Uh what do you how did you feel when you got the news that he had passed away? Because he was like about to take it to another level again. <sighs> for real. Off top. I was hurt from, Yeah. I was hurt from him. I said, Hell nah. Oh nah, you feel me? <sighs> Yeah, Man. I think the whole bay was was yeah. going through that. Yeah. Um, are you still close with Ray Love? Uh, pretty much, you know. What I'm saying, uh, but I, as far uh, but other than the fact that I I, I don't hear from uh hear from uh none of them, uh, none of them, uh, none of them 
dudes uh, on a daily. You feel me? Yeah. You know what I'm saying? Huh? I'm Everybody not the, just I'm doing not their clothes. own thing. Yeah, right, yeah, uh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Plus, I've never been the type of cat that call around, you know what I'm saying, uh, conversating, you know what I'm saying? Uh, yeah, you just yeah. do your own thing. Right. What's it like um, getting back into the music since since you've been home? Well, uh, uh, my wife's telling me uh, uh, all the time, write new stuff, write new stuff. But now I'm, I got a habit of reciting my old rise for the pen mm. because I think that they brand new. Yeah. You feel, ain't nobody heard them. That means and they're they, new. <laughs> right, exactly. Yeah. And uh, don't nobody uh, really look at it like that. Yeah. You feel me? Because uh, I got a partner, another partner uh, from the block that's always said the same thing. Mm-hmm. So I would, uh, I came to the conclusion, okay, they must don't know, uh, they, they they must don't understand. Why? Because they, they don't look on it. Outside looking in. Yeah. You feel me? I'm on the inside looking out. You yeah, feel me? Yeah, you know yeah. I, 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 at, the, uh, at that uh, particular uh, uh, situation. You feel me? Yeah, yeah. Mm-hmm. Well, I can tell you, man, just just from doing like my history of the bass stuff. Yeah. Uh, and then before I, because I did a short video on, oh, on yeah? you. And then uh, a lot of people, um, a lot of people have been asking about you, a lot of people are interested. A lot of people have positive stuff yeah. to say about your music, man. Oh, so yeah, that's what's up. I definitely think uh, there's room for you to keep to keep pushing. And then right. just recently, too, um, two of the, the the hottest new artists in Vallejo, mm-hmm. La Russell and Du Bois. Oh yeah, they just sampled all about my fetish. Right, yeah. Give a shout out to them too, La Russell and Du Bois. Boy, yeah. Set, yeah. Yeah, how did how did that feel seeing seeing uh, those young cats do that? Well, uh, uh, D- uh, DJ Gutter Butter, uh, my player partner, uh, invited me to the uh, uh, the, the video. Okay, you feel me in Vallejo? You feel me? Yeah, and it, and it turned out to be cool. Yeah. Mm. Oh, so you got to meet them and build right. them and exactly. all that stuff yeah. too. Cool. Mm, yeah. What do you think about? Um, I'm not sure how tapped in you are, but what do you think about like the newer generation of of Vallejo artists and Bay Area artists? Well, I think they got their uh, uh, own unique sound. You feel me? And I uh, and I'm not now I'm not, and I'm a music connoisseur. Yeah. You feel me? So I'm not no music. Yeah. You feel me? You know, what I'm saying uh, I think it's different a uh, uh, a different kind of sound. You feel me? Which is distinctive. You feel me? And yeah. Tight. Yeah. Is there any uh, new new stuff coming out that that you got your eye on, or any other artists coming up that you, that you want to work with, or or um, stuff that you're tapping into? Well, uh, not really, uh, no. But now I, I, I'm planning to uh, do a mixtape called "Too Many Rappers, Not a, None of the Fans." Mm-hmm. <laughs> a mixtape, but uh, then, but now my LP gonna be called. Uh, 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 Lifestyles of the Black and Dangerous. That's what's up. Me? That's what's up. But now I'm gonna have some different music, different tracks in there with some old tracks. You yeah. Feel me? So uh, cat can uh, try to pick packet, pick packet, pick packet me. You feel me? You know what I'm saying? To be like, oh man, uh, you feel me? Yeah. Send me a, a bogus, a, bogus email. You feel me? Yeah. 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 Mm-hmm. Yeah. 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 Yep. Um, I mean that that what you just said that title too many rappers, not enough fans. Yeah. Is that something you really notice? Because like when you started rapping, like we mentioned, all right, yeah, Ray Love was around, Max Ray was around, so and so was around. But uh, do, do you, is that something you really notice that there's so many different rappers now compared to how there used to be? For sure. Yeah. yeah. Off top, yeah. Yeah. And I, I think that that that's a name, that's a theme that that uh, that, uh, that that's understandable. You yeah. Me? Yeah. Mm-hmm. What do you think are what What do you think are some things that that would separate a real legitimate rap cat from somebody that should just hang up the mic and be a fan? Well, uh, uh, I feel that uh, that uh, I can uh, I can say a real uh, rapper uh, uh, that rock the mic, right? Got experience, right? And it's Gotta be in you, not on you. Yeah, you feel me? You know what I'm saying? And the the uh, the, the the rapper that, that's uh, just in it uh, in it for the wrong reasons. You feel me? Just a, a, a waste of time, a, a waste of rhymes. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. Yeah. Mm-hmm. yeah. So I I say it's gotta be in you, not on you. Yeah. You feel me? You know what I'm saying? Yeah. Well. I think you're like a living example of that. Yeah. There's a difference between somebody that's like, yeah, I rap, and then drop a few songs, yeah. shoot a few videos, rock a few shows, 
within a few years get discouraged and give up or right. whatever happened, then you out. Look at all the all the shit you've been through. Right. That it's, stuff it's, from the spans. Yeah. Right. Yeah. And still pushing the pen. Yeah. Still pushing new music as well as your past catalog. Right, exactly. So you heard it right here, man. If you want to do this, then take take it for real, man. For real. Um, what? So we mentioned the book, and um, what else? What else you got coming out, man? That that people Dacrimini. can tap into the documentary. Dacrimini, yep. Mm-hmm. So, yeah. when can we expect that? Uh, uh, probably uh, uh, mid December, uh, or, 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 or uh, early next year. You okay. Mm-hmm. All right, man. Yeah. Well, uh, keep me posted All so I can tell everybody to come check you out. Yes, sir. Um. I think we covered a lot of yeah. cool stuff today, bro. Um, but maybe once you got the book and the documentary out, come back. Up top. We can talk about those projects, talk yeah. about some more stuff that For we sure. didn't get to today. Yeah. And, uh, you know, I'm glad that we got to meet. You know, Likewise. I'm here, bro. Yeah. Any Anything you need, anything, yeah. you know, anytime you want to holler, man, I got you. And, likewise. And, and likewise, man. Yeah. We'll just keep it rocking. Yeah. And we're going to sign off on that note, man. It's okay. been an honor, bro. Talk, Thank uh, you so much, you, man. Uh, you're definitely welcome. For, for sure. Me? For okay. sure, bro. Yeah. Thank and you, I, man. I would like to say uh, much love to, uh, to uh, you and uh, uh, your network. You feel right me? on, Yeah, bro. for sure. Because right it, it's a network. Yeah, yeah, you know yeah, 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 man. Pop, yeah, keep popping. T- uh, don't stop. Off top, You feel bro. me? Off top, Off yeah. top, bro. Yeah. There it is, man. Young Lay. Shout out to the whole team. Shout out to everybody out there watching this. We appreciate you. Another episode for the books. Historic, legendary, epic. And we're going to be right back with you next week. Peace.